The crucial semiconductors contain thousands or even millions of transistors and their connections, requiring designers to finish a mountain of work, defining the chip circuit designs and timing, running simulations, and setting up production. But that's just all in an average workday for Yao Wei, who's been designing chips for 15 years. The 40-year-old now has got a compelling position, a director at this chip maker in Shanghai's Zhangjiang Science City. With nine products on sale, the company expects to make some 50 million yuan this year. But things weren't that easy two decades ago, when he was studying electronic engineering at Tsinghua University. At that time, in the electronic engineering major, we have uh, more than 100 uh, students. However, in the microelectronics, uh, only half or even less. In 2005, there, were, there was not many uh, job opportunity in the IC industry. Yeah, so we have to find other uh, opportunities in other industry. Now, however, the situation has just reversed. ADC, Employee numbers at Opnus, which specializes in developing smart sensing chips, have been close to doubling every year. The company now has some 80 employees, but that should double again in the next 12 months. Their average yearly income is between 200,000 and 300,000 yuan. But even at that level, the company suffers from one of the industry's largest problems, job hopping as more and more startups enter the business. Last year, only 30% of the chips used in China were domestically made, but the government wants that number to reach 70% within five years. And that means the demand for designers and engineers greatly exceeds the supply. The companies are doing everything they can. Definitely, we need to pay reasonable, good salary. So they, they are happy with the money, at least. We try to feed them with what they challenge work. So they feel they can grow from the company, they can grow with the company, so they can grow their value when they stay in the company. Last year, the integrated circuit industry in China grew at an annual compound rate of more than 20%. This rapid development means a high demand for skilled staff, and the industry now has a huge labor gap, lacking 320,000 qualified employees, However, latest figures available now show that of university graduates in majors related to integrated circuits, fewer than 20% actually went to work in the field. Shanghai Tech University now has nearly 550 students majoring in electronics. But the majority of them are picking internet companies as their first employment choice. And an increasing number are choosing computer science as their major not electronics for integrated circuit design. The chip users are making more money than the chip makers. Like computer science master, right? So they are typically starting a salary probably around 200K to 300K. But for like E or microtronics, probably only start from like 100K to 200K. So it can double or even more. For IC company, typically a project runs like three years. And for internet company, probably just half a year. So that's why most of the money actually from the industry, right, so probably tend to go to internet, not IC. The central government has taken measures to nurture homegrown talent in the semiconductor industry. Earlier this year, the state council approved establishment of an integrated circuit university program which means integrated circuit design and production is now a recognized major in universities. The hope is that more support will now go to IC education. But Joe says developing all that homegrown talent will take patience. It's a long time investment, you know. Do not expect your return like in uh, three months or three years. But the way should the plan is in at least like 10 years, right? They can lead the effort to, to build uh, in the domestic lines actually of the companies, right? So for example, in IC area, we have company who is doing design uh, and we have company who are doing the manufacturing and also company doing packaging, testing, and such. So it's a long chain, you know, uh, for the IC. Even if that takes some patience, Joe says China has little choice. With the advent of 5G, the Internet of Things, AI, and its associated technologies, the chip industry can do nothing but grow, which means it has to create increasingly competitive job offers for China's chip creators. Zhang Shixuan, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.